Zigbee can be a little bit like the dark art sometimes. Many of us install our Zigbee router, connect up to Home Assistant and then start pairing our devices and go about our day, making sure to leave it well enough alone and don't do anything that could possibly anger it in case it goes wrong. But I'd be willing to bet that the majority of us, myself included, don't really have a backup plan in place if the Zigbee router that controls all of our devices and sensors failed or died. But today I'll show you how you can not only back up your Zigbee coordinator in case of failure, but how you can actually migrate your entire Zigbee network to a brand new Zigbee router without ever having to repair a single device. For the last year or so, I've been using the Sonoff Zigbee bridge with Tasmota flashed on it. And for me personally, it's been absolutely rock solid. Apart from just recently when I started going over 40 to 45-ish, devices, I would get some occasional dropouts from some random sensors, so I started looking at some replacements. And at that same time, Sonoff just recently announced their brand new Zigbee 3.0 dongle, which so far has been very well received. It's based on the CC2652P, it's ready to go out of the box to work with Zigbee to MQTT and ZHA, and is incredibly affordable. Once I managed to get my hands on one, I realised I had one slight issue. I'm far too lazy to go around and repair 40 to 50 devices individually. Okay, not really, but it did get me interested as to if there was an easier way to migrate Zigbee routers without any pain and suffering. And apparently there is. After a little bit of back and forth on Twitter with Dave, Byron and Pudley, who are developers working on ZHA and Zigbee, the library that ZHA uses, they pointed me in the direction of a project called Open Coordinator Backup, an open source standard for backing up Zigbee coordinator networks and is currently used by several home automation projects, including both ZHA and Zigbee to MQTT. Imagine having a regular backup of your Zigbee network, so that say if your Zigbee router did die, you could simply plug in another spare or backup model, restore that backup, and be back running again in 10 minutes. So with that in mind, what I'm going to show you here is not only how to backup your Zigbee network, which is certainly a good thing if you have lots of Zigbee devices in case a disaster did ever strike and your Zigbee router did die, but also how to restore that backup onto a brand new Zigbee router and do a complete migration, for example, if you want to upgrade your Zigbee router. And this is all without repairing any devices. As mentioned, I'm going from the Sonoff Zigbee bridge to the Sonoff Zigbee dongle. Now these are completely different chips inside of each of these, and it did work absolutely no problem for me, but your mileage may vary depending what router you're moving to and from. I'm also using ZHA for this, so the steps may vary a little bit if you're using Zigbee to MQTT. Finally, I'm going to be showing you these steps on a Home Assistant supervised install, but the same steps apply to Home Assistant OS and really any other install. With the new Sonoff dongle plugged into my USB port, first I'm going to use SSH to connect to my Home Assistant instance and make sure you have protected mode disabled for SSH. And then we're going to issue the LS USB command to check that the new dongle is showing up. Then I also check which port my USB stick is showing up on. In this case, it's USB 0, and you want to take a note of this so that we can use it later on. Next, we are going to enter the Home Assistant container to use the Python environment inside. Use the docker exec command to take you inside the Home Assistant container, and then from there, we are going to use the following pip command courtesy of Pudley to install open coordinator backup. Notice how it tells us it uninstalled Bellows and replaced it with a different version. That may cause issues with Home Assistant, but once we restart the container later, this change will be reverted, so no need to worry. Now we are ready to take a backup of our existing Zigbee network, but first we need to temporarily disable ZHA before we can do that. Find ZHA in your integrations list and hit the disable button, and then back in your terminal, use the bellows command to take a backup. 
Notice I am using the IP address of my Zigbee bridge as the source. And you'll want to replace this with your own Zigbee router address. And you can often find this in the ZHA integration. Yours may be something like slash dev slash TTY USB zero or similar. Notice I am also saving this to the Home Assistant config folder, and this makes sure that the backup is stored in a persistent location and won't be lost when we restart the container. Hit enter and then the backup process will begin, and mine took around two minutes or so to complete. Once finished, you can now check the contents of the backup file to make sure that it has data. Yours should look a little something like this, although the contents may vary depending on your network. At this point, if all you want to do is back up your Zigbee network, then you are now done and you can now go in and re-enable ZHA and restart Home Assistant. But if you want to restore the backup to a new router, then you'll want to head back to the command line and use this Python command to issue the restore. This time you'll see that I am using slash dev slash TTY USB zero as the destination. And this is the location of my new Zigbee stick and the one that we took a note of back in step one. We are now getting real close and the final step that we need to do is simply modify our ZHA integration to use the new adapter. On the terminal, head into the config and then storage directory using the cd command. We're going to be editing this core config file, but first make sure to take a backup of it using the cp command. Then use vi to edit the file and use the forward slash key to search for zha. Finally, press the i key to enter insert mode and edit the lines as necessary to change both the path and the radio type as applicable. In my case, I changed the path to slash dev slash TTY USB zero, and I also changed the radio type from EZSP to ZNP. Press escape and then type colon X and hit enter to save. Head back into Home Assistant and then give it a restart first and then go over into integrations and enable the ZHA integration. And if you did things right, you should see the name of the integration has now changed to the new adapter address. Once re-enabled, things should work, but in my case, I had to give the host a quick restart again. Once back up, everything should be working as expected. And if you go in and check some of your devices, they should be operational and working as intended, all running from your new router, at which point you are now done and the migration is complete. And that is about it. That is how to back up your Zigbee network in case you ever need it in an emergency but also how you can take that backup and use it to migrate your Zigbee network to a different Zigbee router if you ever wanted to upgrade. Big thanks to Dave, Byron and Pudley for their help and work on this. It wouldn't have been possible without them. And it's really good to know that this kind of thing is possible all without having to repair a single device. But anyways, that is about going to do it for this video. Hopefully you find it useful. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. And if you want to support the channel, then you can do so by becoming a patron on Patreon and your support allows me to keep on making these videos. Thank you to all my current Patreon supporters. As always, your support is very much appreciated. Make sure to drop this video a like, leave a comment, get subscribed, all those good things. And I will see you in the next video. Phew.